Oh, my eyes are red. Oh. Well, bleary-eyed or not, I'm going to go ahead and make this video. Um, there's two things I want to tell you about. One is that I finished three paintings today, and I want to show them to you. And the other is for anyone in front of whom I have fallen down or fallen asleep during a conversation, I just want to let you know that that's kind of normal for me. <laughs> I am a narcoleptic, and I have a lovely... Um, symptom associated with that called cataplexy, which causes a sudden, um, well, basically I become a quadriplegic mute. All my limbs go limp, my, I can't, and I can't speak. I generally fall, my knees buckle, I fall to the ground, and, oh, people try to help, and it just gets worse. Um, it's triggered by emotion, so if I get very excited, it's sure to happen. <laughs> Sometimes it happens at all oddball times, like somebody says, would you like cream in your coffee? And I go, oh, yes, please, and suddenly I'm having an attack. I think if I'm embarrassed, and maybe I get embarrassed a lot, because I sure do it a lot. I meet people, and I'm so excited to meet them sometimes. You know, it could be someone I've communicated with over the Internet only, or... Uh, you know, the relative of someone I adore. <laughs> and I get too excited, and I will have an attack and not be able to speak, and it's very embarrassing. And I apologize to anyone who is disturbed by it. I am too. <laughs> and it's nothing I can control at all. Okay, but on to happier things. Um, one of the paintings I finished is a very small one. It's just five by five, or five by six, I believe, and I haven't named it yet. Oops, is this right side? Where is right side up? That's the problem with these abstracts. You can't tell which is the top and the bottom. Okay, that is correct. It looks like somebody dropped oil into water, so it floated to the top and, and it made these interesting swirls. It's going to be mounted on a piece of wine crate uh, painted and then this one here has quite a story I started this actually several weeks ago my friend Roberta St Sangstack Sangstack Roberta Sangstack um, the soprano was going to be heading off to Europe to sing at her niece's wedding in France and so the night that I saw Roberta that was going to be the last night I saw her before she took off, I got inspired to make her a Bon Voyage card. So I figured I'd make a painting of the Eiffel Tower and then shrink it with the computer and put Bon Voyage across it, and there you'd have a card. However, I didn't quite finish it the night she was leaving. kind of wish in a way that I had, well, hindsight, you know, that I had just called it finished and scanned it and put voyage, bon voyage across it because frankly it was fine, you know, it was like done. But of course, over the next couple of weeks while she was gone, I uh, had to tweak it and add things and change things. <laughs> Actually came up with an entirely different painting other than the Eiffel Tower being pretty much in the middle. Um, that's about the only similarity. Anyway, I saw her again and Paris. Oh, she didn't spend any time in Paris, really. She's, she was out in the country. Anyway, um, I gave it to her as a welcome home card. It's the cleverness of me. And uh, let's see what else. Oh, this, uh, I'm calling it geometric. Mm, I'm not sure. Probably something to do with geometry, though. You're about to witness a hypnagogic hallucination, another symptom of narcolepsy. Christina was unaware that she had been hallucinating until she saw the playback and heard herself speaking nonsense. And last but not least, mind you, I didn't paint the, any of this from scratch. It was already done, not with the exception of the dog that I showed you. And this one, I'd rather pleased with how it turned out. I can't really get my 
arms far enough apart from each other. Oh, well, this gives you an idea anyway. It's one of my recession art pieces uh, put together from artist rags and um, the doodads I put together here. Uh, some feathers and some piece out of some jeans and some wool. This is from one of our sheep. That wool there, I think, is called either Jasper or Storm. But you can see how there's more than one color. Silver and black is in there. Ooh, I thought it was kind of pretty. <laughs> and it's done.